Simulating the practice of diagnostic radiography has always been problematic due to image acquisition requiring exposure to x-rays. Traditionally, students have worked with patient models or phantoms, but these fail to simulate the clinical environment as patient movement, interaction and positioning are limited. We explored whether motion capture technologies could be utilised to accurately simulate radiographic practice. Whilst virtual reality is an alternative approach being promoted for the application of technical knowledge, the experiential optionality is limited by the computer programme. Motion capture technologies have become the de facto tool in respect to accurate, real-time and post-representation of human and non-human analysis of movement. Due to the location and future output of the research at hand, optics-based systems were deemed ineffective, opting instead for an inertial-based setup. Inertial-based motion capture utilises multiple sensors placed on a subject, measuring real-time accelerometer and gyroscopic values per sensor, whilst utilising all sensors communicating with each other to form a full skeletal representation of a character's performance. The motion capture system we use is portable, quick to set up, independent of capture areas and accurate. The motion data can be linked to a number of outputs, be it for driving a CGI character in real time in say a scanned representation of the radiology lab, or in this case, a custom built pipeline that allows us to physically move a patient and retrieve a phantom radiographic image representative of patient position at time of simulated exposure. Perfect, lovely. And hold your breath. Steve? Rubbish. 20 degrees out, but posterior. So group. how are you going to correct it? <coughs> Left shoulder closer to the image receptor. And if you would stand up against there again, like before. And you move your elbows and shoulders close. And elbows and shoulders forward. That's better. <laughs> And hold your breath. Lovely, thank you very much. Okay, so that's our last one. So that's your final go, your third attempt. What do you think of that I one? I think that's quite nice. The um, medial ends of clavicle seem equidistant to the spinous processes. Clavicles are clear of the lung fields. Excellent. Good inspiration. Well done. Here, perceives are on there, custom friendly kangles are on there. Oh, stop showing off. <laughs> How did it feel being able to position a patient as close to a model? I think from a, from a learning perspective, uh, it's more realistic positioning a human being because that really is mimicking clinical practice. Do you think that's a benefit, being able to see it on the real screen, I positioning a patient and then seeing the image without using x-rays? I, I mean, it's a, it's a real benefit to be able to see how your position would translate into an image on the screen. I mean, one of the things we've often said about radiography is you can't practice on each other and actually this is a way that we can practice on each other. We've always said because of the risk of ionising radiation, we can't take x-rays of each other. As physios, our physio colleagues can practice on each other but we've not been able to do that but actually this does allow us to do that to some degree because we can position patients, we can make an exposure without really making an exposure and we can see the results of that on the screen. Brilliant. Thank you.